Hip hip hooray is working. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God. I'm coming to you live from the Pink Dungeon. Give it to you real, real rugged. Uh, what's up with you guys, man? Um, we got somebody on uh, FaceTime right now. Uh, Young Mustard, what's good, man? Bro, what's going on? It's your boy. What's up, Young Meat Eric? What's going on, bro? He insists to call me Little Meat Eric for some reason. I don't know why he calls me that, but uh, that's his name for me. Uh, for the people who doesn't know who Young Mustard is, please let him know who is Young Mustard. Man, Young Mustard is a nigga that is, he got way too much time on his hands, bro. And he, um, he's way too mad at the world and he needs to get his shit together. That's who Young Mustard is. And he, now he's getting interviewed by his, by his uh, number one internet friend, you feel me? So, so now nigga is on the come up. So that's what's going on, bro. What is Young Mustard mad at though? You see, Young Mustard's mad. What is he mad at? I think I think the nigga's mad at like everything, bro. I don't think I think he's like I think he's too self aware for his own good. He ain't woke, but he's like self aware. So the nigga is like he always think about like how everybody's so stupid and he don't fuck with that shit. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is, bro. Like, what are people? Know. What are people uninformed about? Is they stupid? Are they uninformed? They're stupid. I think. I think he's he's mad at the other. Op- I think he's mad at the opportunities. Why am I talking to? Him? Yeah, I was. Are you like The Rock? Like, do you just reference yourself in a third person? I think. I think he's mad at. Uh, I think I waste my time uh, comparing. I used to waste my time a lot, like comparing my life to other people's lives, because I grew up different, like extremely different from a lot of people. And, like it took me a while to realize that you know you can't do that because if you do it, it will not you're not gonna be happy it's not gonna work out for you to compare your life to other people's lives so that's something and I think I think um, another thing is probably like when I said like I feel like there's a lot I feel like there's a lot of dumb people in this world that that get opportunities and they take them for granted or they're just I think they they give up on what they want in life or just things like that. Just like just tons of little things. I think it's always it's always little things that make me that build up and make me always want to just lose my mind. So I think that's that's a perfect example, of, a perfect explanation. I mean, of, of me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let you know off top because this is a pretty ghetto interview. It's ghetto in the sense of this 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 like okay. So this is for everybody who's watching this right now. When sometimes when I interview people, my computer like does this thing where it's like choppy and the video connection isn't like 100% good. So uh, this is for future references. People watch my interviews just for you when you watch it. You like, hey, why is it so choppy? That's why it's so choppy because my computer is just weird sometimes. So I'm sorry just in advance or whatnot. But back to you and what you have going on. Um, how I met Young Mustard uh, through Twitter. Um, well, I didn't meet him through Twitter. I knew him before he knew before he knew me. I just thought he was the funniest guy of all time. Um, just legendary tweets he used to have, and um, followed him on Instagram and followed me back. Almost peed my pants. Uh, the guy's a internet legend, um, known for photoshops and crazy tweets and songs or whatnot, like jokey songs. But now, uh, as of as of late, he's been actually putting a, a foot forward to real songs. So just tell the people about what made you get into you know actually trying to do some real songs. Well, uh, I mean, I've been making music, like, all my life. Like, I've been, like, I grew up in, in church, and I grew up, like, performing on stages in front of people and, and recording music. So I started... Hold on, hold on. Be- before I let you, because I have horrible... I'll forget this really quickly. When you say grew up in church, I just quickly want to say this and you get right back to it. One of the funniest videos you ever did was when you did Running Through My Six, Running Through the Six with my woes and a church voice. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that clearly. Can't... Can we get a can, can we please get a re edition? Can we please get a, a little sample, man? I don't think I don't think your boy drunk enough right now. Oh my god. Come on, man. Something. I need that. I might have to knock something back later throughout the show, man. Alright, man. Alright, man. Your boy, your boy not ready yet. Alright, 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 alright. Back 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 to uh your music background. But yeah, I I, I grew up in church and, and all that all that good stuff. And uh, I started making music. Um, I started recording my own music with like software. It's probably in 2010, 
but I didn't know what I was doing probably till 2013. And what's funny is like I've always, I've, it's like in general I've always just had like uh, I guess parody songs, but there's always been I've always had serious songs too. I think it's just a, a matter of like people. People kind of like just pick and choose what they kind of want to see sometimes, and really it is what it is. Like I used to, like things like that. That used to like it just used to get me like upset. Like I just used to get pissed off. But <laughs> like these days, like I just I don't know. I don't really I don't really worry about it that much. So I just like now. I think it's because I'm at the point where when I'm making music, I spend more time worried about me like music itself rather than worrying about what other people think about it or take into it like I spend more time where I think because I've learned so much more now like I've learned a lot about just mixing and mastering and and how to control sounds and manipulate them and this and that so now it's like I'm at the point where I can make what I want that like I can make a melody in my head and then I can make it real and that is a better feeling than anything else so it's like why waste time being mad when I can just I can really make circle I can walk, like run circles around niggas and, <laughs> and I do that so that that's really what's going on man. Alright um well I think one of the first songs I ever heard from you was a song called Fire and we were just talking on the phone before we did this and we were talking about how you are you know you get into your singing and whatnot because I don't know I just feel like it's really odd that you could sing because just looking at you from a comedic standpoint for so long and then being transitioned to the singing nigga I'm like this nigga is is good like unexpectedly or whatnot (laughs) do you get that often like people who like didn't know you did music but always knew you was like funny do they like are they shocked that you're like you know talentedly or in the music uh, perspective there's there's niggas I went to high school with that um, they've heard like a song like I'll show them a song sing it and they'll 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 lose their fucking mind like they won't even know what to say like it's <laughs> it, it happens every time like i don't know people it's it's something that i actually enjoy because people i feel not all the time but i feel like it's it's a it's like a how can you say it? like some people underestimate you or something like that you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like i feel so i i kind of like i like that that niggas don't expect it like the unexpected it just messes them up and then they'll like the, the girls always love it no matter what for some reason even if they don't even fuck with your boy they still fuck with your boy's music so it's it's, it's, it's i don't know it's, it's some uh i like it i like i like uh, just surprising niggas and letting niggas know i um I, I got that heat i got that fire for them niggas bro <laughs> hey man as you should um i feel like i feel like i feel like i don't know you i'm gonna throw this idea at you i feel like a lot like a monthly basis we should not even do an interview but just like talk about things for like 15 minutes and i just post on my youtube channel like, how's that sound like just talk about just random shit going on. i feel like people would enjoy that you think so yeah that'd be, that'd be actually dope i'll be into that I feel, like, I feel like we should do that um just start it up a little bit just something random that i know you're into um i've been waiting for me to interview somebody and bring this up for the longest but nobody else has interest and i know you do uh, wrestling, man. Can we talk about wrestling really quickly, man? You know, we already know. We, you already know we can talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So, low key, I'm the reason that Young Mustard got into wrestling again because I gave him my WWE Network stuff, and um, and I've, I've I've helped him get back into wrestling. And um, just just talk about just talk about wrestling. Like, when did you first get into wrestling ever in your life? same time as music like when i started watching it on tv like i don't know four or five and uh that was around like 90 96 or 95 so i was i was like experiencing like the attitude era and i didn't even know what i didn't even know it was the attitude era so i thought it was just like i thought it was normal i thought yeah. it was okay <laughs> and <laughs> like i don't know it was crazy to see some of that shit like now I, I go back and rewatch clips like every now and then because sometimes I sample, sometimes I just watch it to enjoy it because I mean some of that shit's still good. You can't remake that shit no more, and it's crazy to see what niggas got away with back then, the the type of shit that they could do and nobody really cared. Imagine <laughs> some of that stuff going on in 2017. That would not work. That would no, not work. <laughs> None of that will work. Well, fast forward today. Uh, what are your thoughts on wrestling in 2017? 
I think it's I think it's not bad. I think uh, people are just stuck on like people are just stuck on like WWE being bad, and they assume that all wrestling is bad because WWE. When you got like uh, Japan going ham with their shit right now, and it's like they do ridiculous things over there. Um, so, like there's a few, they, you know, there's like there's a few um, like random random bullshit type of. <sighs> What's, what's the names like associations or whatever on on like uh, YouTube or some shit like you can run you like f- like find random uh, like random amateur type yeah uh, yeah 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 or you can or TNA I mean I know TNA be using washed up niggas but still you know it, it's 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 kind of cool to see some people still going I mean it's a dark business like that shit really is creepy when you when you think about it but. I don't know. This this it's still good. I think it's. I still. I think like. Uh, I think once the PG era ends, if it ever ends, I think. I think niggas can come back and make something crazy. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the PG era will end. Sadly, to say this, when Vince McMahon dies, I feel like I feel like Triple H is gonna uh, take back the. I feel like he's gonna take over the business. I feel like it's gonna get edgy. I feel like a lot of like edgy things are gonna happen and um I feel like we I feel like I feel like rest I feel like WWE needs that. I feel like they need that that edgy push. I mean it would, it would be crazy to see. I, I don't know I don't know when I don't think Vince plans on dying anytime soon. <laughs> I think that shit would be crazy. Um because he he basically been the one that had to take all the heat for like you know Chris Benoit killing himself yeah. and his family. And then uh fuck what else the fuck happened? There's so many things A I can't even think of stuff. Just like the screw job and all that shit. Yeah. Like he's the one that had to take all the heat for that. So probably when he is going, I mean it probably will change significantly. So it, it is what it is, man. Hey man, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, I, I I agree with you. WWE is not bad. I mean they have their gems. You know what I'm saying? Like like a nigga like Brock Lesnar. That's a once in a lifetime person, just in general, exactly. man. Like you can't, you won't get a Brock Lesnar every year. You know what I'm saying? That's like a. Like, if Brock Lesnar slapped me, I wouldn't know what I would do. I'd probably be like, damn, what did I do? Like, I, I don't know. Like, niggas is... <laughs> yeah, niggas crazy. But, um, you know, we're not even going to get too much wrestling because we're going to save that for when we talk next time. And I feel like this is the perfect time to cut this little short interview. And we'll just talk monthly and just talk about more random stuff about you and whatever you want to talk about. So, uh, anything, anything you want to say before we close this out? And shout out to... Shout outs to the whole world, you know what I'm saying? Your boy is uh your boy is, is coming with the heat. Shout outs to shout outs to Eric for for this, this this surprising interview. You know, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the love, nigga. You know, you out here, you know, low key getting famous right now. So, you know, your boy hating on you, you know. <laughs> hey, but you know, it's good to see niggas coming up, bro. Like, uh Yeah, man, shout outs to everybody, man. Shout outs to my Twitter account, shout outs to Shout out to my band camp, you know, I'm really that nigga, but you know, I, I can't be I can't be too arrogant, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> uh, shout, shout out to everything, man. Shout out to corny ass white boys that uh think I'm not funny no more or, or whatever. This is not a diss. This is not a diss. Shout out shout out to That was a direct diss to Spencer McMullen. That's what that was a diss to Spencer McMullen. It wasn't a direct diss because this is why it's funny because it's it's the same story that I've heard multiple times, but with a different name. So what it what it is is when I did okay, when a lot of people who know me for Young Mustard, that's 2013. Like people who know me beforehand, I was fucking nasty. Like I just used to say grimy ass shit. <laughs> then me, me and my brother or like other people we find funny. What happened was 2013 came around, and I started you know what well, I'm just do this little corny thing on the side. And then it can't, it turned into something bigger than who I actually was. So it's like I I make jokes for myself and friends, and then there was this young mustard jokes that was like like some meta on top of meta, like just fourth wall breaking type shit that is making fun of myself and this. And then I stopped doing that, and it kind of changed. It kind of messed everybody up. And I don't know what to tell you if you want if y'all niggas want to sorry. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I can give you a sorry. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just gotta be myself. You feel me, my nigga? 
And I mean, I still, I still do crazy things, bro. You know, follow me on wherever. I mean, I'm still doing it. Like I, I got a thing now where I can make videos. I mean, go look at the videos that I have up. They, they're, they're pretty. They, they get retweets or whatever. They, they do their job. You know what I'm saying? So, just. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to justify myself. No, you, know? you don't gotta do that. No. But <laughs> just uh, yeah, just you know, follow me on Twitter, Barry Tsunami. That's all caps, no spaces, underscore. You know, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say, man. Just uh, if we, yeah, yeah I, I guess I'm looking forward to chopping it up again. That'd be that'd be cool. Right. Turn into Big Tigger like for BT <laughs> instead of making these guys start just interviewing. Hey shit. man, that's, that's that's what the plan is, and um. Hey, y'all heard it here first. Me and Young Mustard, uh, a.k.a. Barry Tsunami, which we have to talk about the worst.